Hello everyone, welcome to Joyroot. This is the third video in our tutorial series on Azure VM Backup and Restoration. In the previous video, we learned about how to take the Azure Backup and how to restore a full VM from the Azure Backup. We have learned all this in our previous video. In this particular video, we learn about how to restore a particular file from the Azure VM Backup. For example, if any file got deleted accidentally, or a file got corrupted. In such scenario, we want to restore that particular file from the Azure VM Backup. We can do that through uh, file recovery on from the Azure VM Backup. For our better understanding, let us create a situation and practically do that. For example, I'm going to create a folder in the C drive here. I'm going to create a folder in the name of restore a folder. So we are going we will be deleting this folder and we restore it post taking the backup so in this folder i will copy these two files all right now what we will do we will initiate a backup from the azure portal and post successful completion of this backup we will delete this folder and we'll try to restore this folder from the backup so let's do that first for that we go back to the our azure portal we are in the azure portal and we go to the recovery service vault and this is the recovery service vault which we have created let me click on that let us go to the backup items and click on azure virtual machine and here if you click on view details we have an option to backup now what we will do we will initiate a backup now while clicking by clicking this backup now here retain backup till uh, one month Let's do that. Click on OK. So a backup has been initiated now. It may take some time. Check the progress. Let us go back to the recovery service vault and come down and check for the backup jobs. Here we could see it may take some time to get initiated. Let's wait for that. Yeah. Now we could see that uh, initiated backup is in progress. I will pause the video for the time being and we'll come back once this backup is over. Yes, the backup has got completed just now. It took a long time to just to complete this backup. It took almost 28 minutes to complete the backup. All right, so what we will do, we will just go back to our virtual machine. And this is our particular folder, restore a folder. So this is that folder which we are going to delete it. So what I do, I am going to shift delete it. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder? Yes. Now what we'll do, we will try to restore this particular folder from the latest restoration point, which means the latest one which you have done right just now. All right, to do that, we have to go back to our backup items. Click on our Azure backup and here we have an option here to file recovery. So let me click on the file recovery. And let me select the restoration point. So the restoration point we select that is the latest one, which is uh, just now was completed. So we'll select this. Click OK. Now what the next step is to download script to browse and recover files. This script will mount the disk from the selected recovery points as a local drive on the virtual machine when it runs. So I'm going to download the executable file. Your download will start within a minute. You will record. You will require this password to run the script. All right, let it uh, download it. Your script file is ready to download. Let me click on download. All right, my file has been downloaded here. I'm going to run the right click and uh, run as administrator. Okay. So it is asking, please enter the password from the portal as it as it's a presenter. So the password is here. So copy the password and paste it here. Click enter. We detect a session already connected to the recovery point of the VM client 10. We need to unmount the volume before connecting the recovery VM. Please enter Y to proceed or enter bot. Um, I 
कॉन वाई एक डबल रन वेटिंग फॉर द सर्विस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एस का सी इनिशिएटर सर्विस या कनेक्शन सक्सी ओ so what happened that particular file has been attached to my local machine here we could see that and here we have the restore folder not on the virtual machine it has attached to my laptop here we could see as a uh, e drive we are going to copy this from here copy and we will paste it in our virtual desktop paste all right after restoring the file we can unmount the disk so we will see what happens when we click on unmount we have to click on unmount disk so unmount is in progress let me check here the file drive is still here let's see when it get disappeared from here yeah now it got disappeared and unmount is still unmount is in progress here yeah unmount is successful now we check it out in the powershell there is no change in the powershell script if we check here as we could see that particular drive has got disappeared and here we could see the unmount was successful all right that's it so that's it for the day so i think i am clear to you i have practically showed how we can recover a particular file or folder from our azure vm backup the remaining part related to azure backup we will see in the coming videos That's it for the day